Monday morning at the shop. I told you I was saving the best for last. This is the last and best Harley Davidson FXR ever made. It's a 2000 model. This is the last evolution powered Harley Davidson ever made, and it's the last FXR ever made. Limited production CDO. It's 100% Probably the nicest AF uh, of the of the three. This is a 2005 service Honda 500 here. This is as close as you'll ever get to a factory race bike. It is uh, factory Honda approved AF. It was a production motorcycle. It, this bike has about an hour total ride time on it. It was owned by my friend Mark at Ride Florida, and it has a, some really unobtainium components on it. It's got a Nissan factory. Honda HRC factory race team front brake system, which has a value uh, north of $2,000. It has a set of titanium factory HRC pegs, which you can't even buy. They're not available to the public. Supposedly those cost a race team $5,000 a set. It's got factory ARC levers on it that are thinner. Uh, only the race teams get those. It's, it's bristling with trickery. Service Honda covers. This is a 2001 motor. It's got all the tricks. It's got the compression release. Has a, a late model set of Honda CRF 450 forks off of 2000, I think 17. Uh, it's got a special shock built by Race Tech. Uh, the hubs are kite. Uh, I wanna, that's about it for now, folks. Stay tuned. Um, more press coming on that one later. Let me show you what else we got cooking. Uh, pristine SL 100. I got an RD 400. That's a brand new motor on it. This thing's nasty. I've got a 76 RM 100, a 76 Can Am or 74 Can Am 250. Uh, number two of the of the uh, CB350s, and back to the good stuff. Check this out. This this is my this is my favorite of the of the three FXRs. This is a monster motor on this one. It's an 89 cubic inch, built by a race shop in New York State. That uh, it's got a dual plug head, high compression pistons, cam, thunder header, um, chrome swing arm. It's got performance machine, uh, chicane wheels, which cost about five grand. They're obscenely expensive wheels. I have the receipts for the motor, $7,900 in the motor. Uh, this thing's gonna be putting down some serious torque and horsepower. All I'm doing to it is putting on a set of long travel Olins and a couple other uh, uh, cool pieces. Uh, we're hoping to bring this one down to Daytona, maybe hit the quarter mile with it down there. Then we got another absolutely pristine Harley Davidson FXR. You will not find a nicer 1990 FXRS anywhere in the country, uh, maybe anywhere in the world. This is, this is, 100% bone stock original motor with even the stock original intake with a thunder header on it. Jet, and it's jetted for the thunder header. We just did the jetting here. So the thunder header pipe gives it the real nice sound, but you've even got the stock 80 cubic inch low rider intake. The motor is absolutely pristine. The bike's got 6,000 miles original paint, chrome fork lowers, chrome factory mags, uh, special drilled rotors. It's got the, uh, the steering brace. It's got the uh, uh, 10 inch risers on the drag bars. Just an absolutely beautiful. I love FXRs. I bought one of these brand new in 93. This color is called Victory Red. And uh, this is an absolutely gorgeous. This is, the, this is the one, this is Mario's favorite, Kyle's favorite, Junior's favorite. They all like this one for, the, the, uh, for some reason. Uh, me, this is more my style, the Monster Motor. Um, I can't wait to send it on that one. Then we got Kenny working on the KX500. I told you guys I was going out to the, uh, the lake, do some uh, ice riding for you guys, man, so stay tuned. Uh, this is a purple pe people eater, KX500. Uh, Chrissy's designed the graphics for it. Wait till you see what she's got going. Then we got a, a Mako, um, uh, big bore Mako uh, 78, I think, coming down the pipe. And then we've got uh, another badass KX500. Three KX500s coming down the pipe this week. Rockville Motorcycle Mania is scheduled for July 31st this year in Rockville. If you want to come to a big party here at the shop, uh, last time we had it, it was over 2,000 people showed up. We had stunt riders and hill climbs and uh, all kinds of crazy mini bike races and a bike show, so a lot of cool things. But hey, I'm excited about the FXRs. I got three of these bad boys coming down the pike. I'm so excited about the KX500s. We've got three KX500s. I've got three service Hondas. 
500s and two of the nicest 97 CR 500s ever to grace the museum here or the internet as far as I'm concerned. I have an NOS CR 500 coming down the pike. So stay tuned folks. These are Steiger graphics on here. Christy uh, designed hand, these are all hand drawn graphics. There'll be no other motorcycle on the planet with graphics like this because this is a one-off kit. Everything on here, nothing on here is off of uh, uh, any other, it's, it's one of a kind. So this, this is, like I said, this is as close as you'll ever get to a factory rate, two stroke race bike right here. Stay tuned, the boys are massaging it to perfection still, and uh, we'll be doing the video on this later this week. Thanks for watching. Mario's putting a new roll of exhaust tape on here in black because uh, we didn't like the way this, this was a little bit too light looking. So he's got the black stuff going on. It should be pretty badass, huh? Yeah, let's see it. Is this your ride here, Mario? Sure tell, us, tell us about your ride. Uh, it's 89 Evo. Started out as an ultra classic, stripped it down. Went with the rat rod look on it. Um, did some cool custom stuff to it. I put a piston as an air filter on it. Put some nice speakers in it. And then on the other side, I used chain as a shift linkage. Uh, molded it together, wrapped the pipes, and then uh, but basically the paint is just like a rat rotted paint where I spray bombed it and then uh, cleared over it all so it has a nice little shine to it. Um, it's got a lot of curb appeal. Yeah, a lot of curb appeal. It's interesting, you know, you can look at it for a long time and not see the same thing twice on it. Mario, how old are you? I um, just turned 27. 27. How long have you been racing motocross? Since I was four years old. You got your AMA Pro card? Yes, sir. Got it. 2016. Are you going to be at the Southwick National this year? Hell yeah. Awesome. You'll be running our graphics? Absolutely. Yeah, we'll, we'll, be, at the, we'll be at the National cheering Mario on. When's your next race? Uh, Daytona. Daytona? Yeah. Daytona. Friday. Awesome. So he's coming down to Daytona with us. Junior's racing the 500. What are you racing, Mario? Uh, I'm going to race my 250F. Awesome. Awesome. Excellent. Hey, Doc. Yep. What do you ride? What am I riding? No, what are you riding? What are you riding? At your I have this a year? 03 RM125. Two stroke, baby. <laughs> Two stroke, baby. You got that right. And yeah. what's it? That, that, if you don't know, it's this dock shop over here. So if you come in this corner, you got to deal with the Irish Mafia. <laughs> Do, <laughs> dock, like owns, dock owns this area. Wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> no press, no press. So, so, uh, so um, how long have you been riding uh, dirt bikes? Pretty much since I was about six years old. What's your favorite bike? Absolutely, the RM250. Nice, yes, nice. Yes, sir. Uh, Ricky Carmichael edition, if I could find one. The two-stroke? Yes, two-stroke. Hell yeah. Absolutely, two-stroke. What's your street bike? Uh, my street bike is a 1986 Harley-Davidson Liberty Edition Sportster. I think there's only like 500 of those made or something too, right? Uh, it's a 2000, one of 2000 made. A really rare piece. Uh, pretty rare, yep. Absolutely. Awesome, awesome. So Doc makes the magic happen here. He... Uh, does he's the one who makes the bikes look beautiful um he's been here how many years you've been here doc like five years now or something like that yep coming yep. up on five years he's done literally probably a thousand over a thousand thousands bikes, thousands, of thousands, bikes thousands every day every single day but i kind of remember almost every one of them yeah exactly <laughs> so don't i you never forget a bike especially one like this one this is a special yep, piece absolutely. some stick out worse than others got That's the pro sure. circuit 304 stainless series Kite hubs. This thing's bristling with chicory. Got the who's, who's your daddy? What's up, Ronnie? How's your project coming? It's pretty good, pretty good. This thing's pretty fresh, huh? Beautiful. KX500. You know the deal. Big board, two stroke. Yes, sir. You putting the graphics on it today? Hopefully, yeah. We got a nice livery kit we're going to put on this. We took the old livery kit off, which was kind of <clears throat> trash, but you'll see what we got coming down the pipe. Yeah, it had a. Uh, uh, this was rebuilt by Joe Martin, and it's got about an hour ride time on it. It had his 711 uh, number plates on there, so we'll freshen up some number ones, dollar up, put some new Hoosiers on there, and this is one of the three coming down the pike. You think it should be done today? Yes, sir. Damn sure it should be done today. Awesome. Thanks, Ronnie. What do you got going on over here, Kenny? Uh, just rewrapping this back tire so we don't... Des destroy the, uh, the wood floor when we bring it in there? Yeah. <laughs> Amongst other things. Or, or mess up the spikes? Yeah. So this is a um, this is a ice racer setup here, or or, or a uh, ice riding setup, and it, this is a, a wrap that you put around the tires so you can not dull your 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 uh, spokes. Um, I gotta get you to bring. I mean your pod. Yeah, we're gonna bring it out this week and send it. Junior's got a 250 Honda setup. I got this, and we're gonna race around the pond. Oh, you're gonna eat them up with this thing. What do you ride? What's your bike? 
We got a 1980 stripped down FLH. Shovel? Yeah, oh yeah. AMF all the way, baby. All right. How long have you been riding bikes? Oh, since I was about five years old. How old are you? 39. 39? So 39 thir 35 years. years? Oh, yeah. So between Doc, who's 62, and Brian, he's got 55 years. How many years you got? So about 30. 30, that's 85. Mario's been riding for 22. That's 100. You got 105 years ride time just between these three guys right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been riding since I was five, and I'm 56. You got almost 155 years ride time with those four guys. Kyle's been riding. How, how old did you start riding, Kyle? Five. Five? How old are you? He's 20. So we're all, we're all just basically bike nuts who started when we're, when we're young. So, Ronnie, Ronnie, when's the first time you rode a bike? <laughs> 10? I had a ball in my face. <laughs> <laughs> never, never really desired to get back home. We'll get Ronnie a unit of this year. Got to wrap it up and get back to work. I just want to say uh, God bless all you guys out there watching us. And God bless the United States of America.